Hi everyone, it's March 2021 and Qualtrics has just sent us an email explaining that there's a new user interface coming to Survey Builder in particular. So in this video, I'm going to show you what the old interface looks like and what the new interface looks like and where everything has moved to. Let's get into it. Okay, so here we see on the left hand side, I've got an old user interface here. This is a survey that I've got set up. Um, and on the right hand side, I see some screenshots that Qualtrics has published of the new user interface. And the main thing that's changed is where these things are. So look and feel, survey flow, survey options, and tools. If we look over on the right hand side, they've basically moved into this area on the left. Um, and tools is still here in its own little drop down menu. Uh, what's also changed is this panel about editing questions and setting them up is now here on the left hand side whereas previously if I selected a question it would be here on the right. So things have just moved around a little bit and they're just in a slightly different spot but they also work a little bit differently too. Uh, so if I scroll through this we can see you know the first button here is basically access to the survey editor. This is getting into changing questions and setting up blocks and these sorts of things. Uh, so this is the standard interface that you've kind of always seen, just a bit refreshed and with all the options on the left. Scrolling down a little bit further here through this document with uh, that Qualtrics has set up, um, we can see uh, some options up the top. So the tools menu um, is still there, just moved across because these things look and feel, survey flow and survey options aren't there anymore. Uh, we've got a search function, we've got preview, and we've got publish. So these are still um, working much the same as they were before. Uh, scrolling down a little bit further, um, to get to survey flow, we now click on a button on the left here rather than the survey flow button up the top. Um, but survey fl flow still looks and works um, exactly the same. So we can still play around with blocks, we can add embedded data elements, uh, we can do randomizers, we can do end of survey elements, we can do all sorts of things just like we could um, in previous survey flow. Just to get to it, the button's moved. Mm. All right, the next one here is look and feel. This looks like a paintbrush roller by the looks of things. That's to get to this look and feel menu here. So I click on that um, in the old interface. Um, and this is where I set up things like themes and all of these bits and pieces. Um, that's now accessed via this paint roller thing, which is apparently an update from the paint brush, which was the old symbol for this. Going down a little bit further to get to survey options, um, instead of clicking survey options up the top here, we click on this button here, the last one, survey options. And this gets us to all of the things like uh, bot protection, but also some more of the advanced things like scoring and quotas and things like that in there. So survey options is a little bit updated in that there's some access to some additional things here that weren't necessarily in survey options. The other thing that's changed with this updated interface is moving questions and blocks around. Now you can always move blocks around in survey flow, you know, so you can pick one and move it where you want it to be. Um, and that will change the order of the blocks. But if I want to change where a question goes, what I used to do is click on the question um, and I could click on move question here and then I'd be able to sort of, you know, select where it goes. Um, or what I might do instead was click on a question and use these up and down buttons to move it one at a time. And that's a little bit painful if you've got to move a question a long way. Um, what you do now is you click on the question um, and click on the blue border and then you can drag it around. And you can also use uh, shift to select multiple questions and move them at the same time if needs be. Some of the things that were accessible over here in terms of like adding page breaks are now accessed through clicking on like a section between the questions. So you would click on there and hit the three dots that pop up um, next to a question and that allows you to add a page break after it. So there's the page break after we've added it in. Now it's important to note that uh, the new survey builder interface is optional. You don't have to opt in if you don't want to so you can opt out I'm sure that's only going to be for a little while though I think that eventually this is going to become compulsory just like any other user interface change is in any other piece of software because there comes a point when adding new features in um, to more than one type of interface is going to be a bit painful so play around with it for now feel free to switch back to the old one if you want to but 
expect that over time this is going to become the new standard. All right, this is Alex Russell from the Experimental Gambling Research Lab at CQ University Australia. Thanks for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.